atmosphere equation. These are the conditions for the reaction between ethane and water. Okay. And we have already discussed about um, uh, fermentation. So here, propanol and acidified potassium dichromate. Acidified potassium dichromate is also an oxidizing agent similar to acidified potassium manganate. So it, it will oxidize propanol and on oxidation of an alcohol, we get carboxylic acid. So from propanol, after oxidation, we will get propanoic acid. Just like when we are using acidified potassium manganate. Okay, structure of ethanol acid we have already drawn. Okay. Uh, this is a molar mass, you can do it. Okay, aqueous bromine can be used to distinguish between ethane and ethene. So aqueous bromine will readily react with ethene, okay, because ethene has a double bond. So the double bond will get broken down by bromine and uh, the bromine will be added here readily. So the bromine will lose its color quickly. But in case of ethane, the bromine will not get added, okay? So when we are using bromine with ethene, the color of bromine would change from brown to colorless. We say it as the decolorization of bromine. But in case of ethene, there will be no decolorization of bromine. Okay, ethene, uh, ethene reacts with chlorine in the presence of ultraviolet light. Draw a structure. Okay, so ethane, that means C2H6, it will react with chlorine. So we can, so six times the substitution will occur because there are six hydrogen atoms. Like what? One hydrogen atom will get displaced, like it was six and now it's five. So one hydrogen atom will get displaced by one chlorine atom and we will get HCl. So you can draw the structure of this compound and then like C2H5Cl plus Cl2. Again, one hydrogen atom will get displaced um, producing C2H4 and Cl2 giving one HCl. You can also draw the structure of this compound, okay? This compound that I've circled so I prefer to draw the structure of the first compound. So it's like this, okay? So it's Cl, 